word that might be unfamiliar to you, if you can learn this word, it is shogun. Can you say that word? Shogun. S-H-O-G-U-N. The shogun was a great local king in ancient Japan. And that's probably the only unfamiliar word you'll encounter in this story. This is an old folk tale. Oh, before I tell it, though, how many of you have at least at one point in your life wished you were somebody else? <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is an old story about that very thing. It's called the stone cut. Soldiers to do. 
but worse than that, inside the great war helmet of the Shogun, it grew hot. He thought he sweated a lot on the mountainside, but at least he was not inside a helmet. And as he stared out, the sweat stung his eyes more than ever it had done before. And he gazed through the helmet's visor up at the sky, and there he saw the sun blazing there. And the stone cutter said, Wait, uh, I don't know what's to be this so good. <laughs> the sun is making me uncomfortable. I wish I were. The sun! And as if some strange enchantment had grabbed his spirit, he flew out and up through the clouds, and suddenly his face entered the blazing circle of the sun, and he could feel the flames pouring from his face, and he said to himself, Ah, I am the sun, now I am the most powerful of all things. And he looked down upon the earth there, round and blue and moist in the distance. So excited was the stone cutter in the sun, with all the power of his flame and of his light, he decided he would shine. And so he began to shine brighter than the sun ever had. And as he did, down upon the earth, it grew hot. The streams began to dry up. So to the lakes, until at last, all the water from the lakes was gone, and the ground cracked into splits that ran for miles. People could find no water. The animals could find no water. But still, the stone cutter, so excited with all that power, just shone. But it was then that from between all that light and that earth far below, a storm cloud drifted, and he saw that immediately the thick storm cloud had just blocked his power, and he said, Wait, now, I do not wish to be the sun, why the storm and the rain has more power than the sun, I wish I were the rain, and suddenly he flew out of the sun, and down into a Into a great cloud filled with winds, he landed. And he could feel his strength as he rolled across the world. And he said, Ah, now I am the storm. Now I am more powerful. So excited was he, he decided he would rain. And so out of his clouds dumped rain, more rain than ever had fallen before. Almost immediately the lakes began to fill. They flooded over their banks and swept across the fields, mowing away the crops and the villages. And he decided he would become the flood itself. And so he joined that flash flood right at its head as it thundered down a valley. And he thought, ah, nothing can stop the flood. But that was when up ahead he saw a mountain appear. And he struck it with all his force, but half of him went to the right, and half of him was split off to the left why the mountain had broken the flood into two pieces. And he said, I do not wish to be. The flood, the mountain is more powerful than I am. I wish I were the mountain. And into the mountain, he landed. And he could feel his Wait. And he said to himself, <clears throat> No, I am the most powerful of all things. 
That was what he heard. <coughs> what is that? Something was chipping at him. What is that? Ah, something is cutting me. He discovered he could not escape the mountain. His spirit was there forever, and he looked, and there on his slope, shipping him away, was a stone cutter, sweating beneath his headband in the sun. And the stone cutter, if you want to make a rhythm, we can finish this off. He looked at the stone 